to make a banana bread bottom cheesecake for Easter. And here are my ingredients. Four bananas, and you can see they're gross looking. That's because as they get overripe during the week or the month, one by one, I peel them and put them into a Ziploc container and keep them in the freezer until I have enough to make banana bread. And it just so happened that I had enough to make this banana bread bottom cheesecake, so yay. Okay, my other ingredients are vegetable oil. In the yellow container, I have sugar, one egg, vanilla, flour, baking powder, baking soda, cinnamon, salt, nonstick spray, and a springform pan. Then for my cheesecake layer, I have four eight ounce blocks of cream cheese, gelatin. I'm gonna also add milk, vanilla, and then the topping once it's all set is the sundae syrup in caramel. So first step is you preheat your oven to 350, and then I'm gonna mix all of my dry ingredients together, and then all my wet ingredients together, and I'll show you the steps as I do them. This is a very simple recipe. Okay, here are my wet ingredients. Banana, egg, vanilla, and oil. I'm gonna use my whisk, and I'm just gonna mash it all together, so it's thoroughly combined. After that's done, I'm gonna add my sugar, and I already mixed up my dry ingredients over here. That's flour, baking soda, baking powder, salt, and cinnamon. Once all my wet ingredients and sugar are combined well, then I'm gonna add my dry ingredients, and I'll show you what it looks like. And you don't need to use a mixer for this. You can just use a whisk or a wooden spoon. Almost ready here. I mixed all the ingredients, the wet and the dry together. I sprayed my pan. You can see I really sprayed it well. It's glistening. It's very important to spray your pan because it's a springform pan, which means the sides come off once it's done. And you don't want any of your stuff to stick to the sides and make it hard for those to come off, right? So make sure you spray it really well. All I'm gonna do is pour this into here and bake it. Okay, here it is. I'm gonna bake it for 30 to 40 minutes until the top is set at 350 and then let it completely cool before you put the cheesecake layer on top. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to make the filling. Now that my banana bread bottom has cooled, I took the cream cheese out and put it in my mixer, and I'm gonna use a tablespoon of vanilla, a tablespoon of gelatin, half a cup of sugar, and a cup of hot milk. So you're gonna to wanna to microwave that milk for about two minutes to get it hot and dissolve the gelatin in there. Then mix everything together. I dissolved my gelatin in the hot milk. I added vanilla to the cream cheese. I'm gonna whip that cream cheese up with vanilla. I'm gonna add half a cup of sugar and then finish it off by mixing in the milk and gelatin. Then I'm gonna pour the whole thing in my springform pan on top of the cooled banana bread and chill for three hours. Here's the cheesecake. I'm getting ready to take it to Nana's for Easter. Uh, it's been cooled overnight actually, and I'll show you what it looks like once we cut it. 